that government needs to explain why the charter as laid in Parliament on Tuesday makes a mark departure from the use of the term sovereign God in deference to common creator. If I may quote from the press uh, statement that those churches as a collective placed in the daily nation, uh, the charter without justification removes the common long held resolute and existing belief in the sovereignty of God our creator as enshrined in the preamble uh, to the 1966 Independence Constitution, retained and reiterated in the report of the Ford Commission, 1998, and overly expressed, overtly expressed, in the Constitution and National Anthem. Uh, the, the sovereignty of God is indicative of the basis of our laws and moral values, which are the foundational uh, component to our society, which has enabled Barbados to forge the just and orderly society that we have. And uh, government explanation so far has been that the exclusion was to accommodate other faith groups outside of the dominant Christian faith. However, this, this explanation we find to be woefully inadequate for these main reasons which I would like to uh, outline to you. First of all, the term God is common to all the predominant faith communities in Barbados. For example, Islam, the Muslim community, acknowledges Allah, which means the God. Uh, our Rastafarian brethren reverences Jah, or Yahweh, or Jehovah, the Lord. That's even stronger. Uh, the Hindu community worships Brahman, uh, God, who is the cause and the foundation of all existence. And of course, Judaism uh, reverses Elohim, which in English is translated God, the strong one, creator. So the term creator, however, alone acknowledges a supernatural being who created but failing to regard him as sovereign, as those other documents I alluded to mention, over our nation, we diminish our obligation to live in accordance to his will, his word, his way. 